Skywatch Media News for the first week of November 2020. Astronomers are spanning the skies around the clock in search of space objects that pose a serious threat to Earth. There are presently thousands of rogue asteroids traveling through our solar system, but there is only a handful of these objects that are considered dangerous, and the gigantic asteroid Apophis happens to be one of them. In 2019, NASA announced that it was carefully tracking the huge asteroid, which they dubbed God of Chaos, after its discovery in the year 2004. The space agency's initial calculations indicated that the asteroid had a small possibility of impacting Earth in the year 2029. But their most recent prediction indicates that asteroid Apophis will skim our planet at a distance of 23,441 miles on Friday, April the 13th, 2029. If we put the distance into context, its passage in 2029 would be only 10% of the average distance between the Earth and the Moon. It will be the closest approach of an asteroid this large that is currently known. And it will be visible to the unaided eye not just for a glancing moment, but for many hours. It is expected that the Earth's tides will change the spin rotation of the asteroid during its passage. If the trajectory for its next approach is precise and its impact odds remain low, then the good news will be that the asteroid passes our planet without incident. But trajectories are not always precise and the odds are not always in our favor. Even a small deflection or shift in its orbital path can create a much different calculation and a different outcome. Astronomers from the University of Hawaii who have been closely monitoring asteroid Apophis recently noticed a slight shift in the space rock's trajectory. There is something that is influencing its orbital path. The asteroid has gotten a small push as a result of a faint amount of sunlight energy. In the scientific community, this small push is known as a Yarkovsky acceleration. The physical boost implies that the space rock, which is more than 1,200 feet in length and traveling at more than 68,000 miles per hour, is drifting more than 557 feet from its actual position in orbit. The shift in its orbit, although slight, is important because it produces a higher probability that the asteroid could impact the Earth on its return in the year 2068. Data measurements of its orbit as of late 2018 indicated that Apophis had a small 1 in 150,000 chance of impacting Earth. But the latest data obtained this year from the 323-inch Subaru telescope may change the impact probability based on the new calculations. As is often the case with asteroids, even larger ones such as Apophis, they are notoriously tricky to analyze due to a variety of factors, including the space rock's initial distance, as well as its composition, shape, and surface features. Astronomers are moving quickly to understand the orbit of Apophis with its projected close approach of the Earth in the year 2029. A collision with Earth, as improbable as it presently appears to be, would in all likelihood be catastrophic. The giant asteroid is packed with nickel and iron. An impact with the Earth's surface would release the equivalent of 1,150 megatons of TNT. An event of this magnitude takes place upon the Earth once every 80,000 years. Further observations of asteroid Apophis should provide scientists with a better determination of its impact potential including a better characterization of how the acceleration is influencing its drift rate. It is expected that astronomers will know if an impact is inevitable 
far in advance of its passage in the year 2068. By then, it will become a concern for the next generation. You may recall that back in August of this year, an announcement was made by scientists that an asteroid was heading directly towards the Earth with a potential impact just prior to Election Day, November 3rd. The space rock called 2018 DP-1 is only 7 feet in diameter, and it had only a 1 in 250 chance of making it to the Earth. As it turned out, the asteroid flew past our planet, survived its passage, and continued on its journey. Planetary astronomers indicated that there was nothing on the infrasound or atmospheric flash monitors. There was also no reports of a bullet explosion anywhere. And so the object which garnered so much attention is now hurtling all alone through space. An immense fireball was seen across nine states in the northeast United States on Halloween evening, October the 31st. The fireball was so intense that it could be seen for 550 miles from the point of its entry. Hundreds of eyewitnesses from Michigan to Georgia reported their sightings to the American Meteor Society. They described the booming fireball as a ball of blue, white, and green, originating from the main body as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. A video captured by a security camera shows the fireball's intensity as it approached the surface before disappearing. A mysterious ball of light lit up the night sky over northeastern China on October the 30th. The unidentified object was traveling close to the surface at a low speed for more than one and a half minutes before disappearing in the darkness of the night. The Chinese Astronomic Society was unable to identify the object, but according to unofficial reports from the Aerospace Agency, it was said to be the body of a Falcon 9 rocket that re-entered the Earth's atmosphere over China on October the 30th. The sky was on fire in the month of October. Here are some of the major meteor events that occurred around the world. If people sat outside and looked at the stars each night, I am certain that they would live much differently. When you look into infinity, you realize that there are more important things than what people do all day. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.